What's going on everybody? It's Pat again. Haven't made a video in a while. Been super stressed out and busy with school. Uh, today is a little bit different. I'm using my um, laptop's camera, so hopefully the quality is okay. Have my uh, audio jack plugged in, so hopefully the video quality is all right. It's probably not as good as my camera on my phone, but I just wanted to, just for simplicity's sake, just use this. So. Uh, today, I wanted to talk to you guys about hypertension and specifically how we treat that with nutrition and um, prevent that and treat it from a standpoint of a healthcare practitioner. And just give you guys some, some tips uh, on what we could do to, like I said, prevent or treat the condition if you have it or if you don't want to get it. So uh, if you don't know, so hypertension is something it affects many Americans, uh, one in three of us, in fact, have it, and a lot of us don't even realize it. So with the high prevalence of hypertension and the fact that it's largely preventable, um, I thought it would be a good idea to make this video. So there are um, several ways that we can manage and treat it without drugs, uh, weight reduction, following a DASH diet, which is dietary approaches to stop hypertension. This is a diet specifically made for um, lowering your blood pressure. Uh, sodium restriction, physical activity, and decreased alcohol intake are all effective in reducing blood pressure uh, or preventing hypertension. So uh, what works even better is if you combine all of these um, tips, all of these approaches uh, to try to get a total effect. So. Um, what I want to do now is talk about the DASH study briefly. So uh, back in 1992, the prevalence of hypertension was so high that it prompted a mass study of several large hospitals around the country. So uh, this study, and I'm not sure who conducted it, um, but it, it evaluated the blood pressure on three diet patterns. So there was a control diet, uh, which was similar to the traditional American diet. There was a diet high in fruits and vegetables, and a DASH diet was the last diet to analyze. So um, sodium intake, physical activity, and body weight remained constant among the three groups, and the results showed that both test diets reduced blood pressure compared to the control. And specifically, the DASH protocol reduced the su subject's systolic reading by eight millimeters of mercury and the diastolic by six millimeters of mercury. So it was stated that the DASH diet has effects similar to single use drug therapy when it comes to lowering blood pressure. And that's very important because as you can see, just changing the way that you're eating is as effective as taking a pill, probably more effective actually, I should say that, more effective than taking a pill. So um, if you wonder what the DASH eating plan, I will say the National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute is where I got most of this stuff. It's a great website that you should check out. They have uh, different meal plans and different recommendations. Um, but basically the DASH protocol, it's, it's flexible and it's a balanced eating plan that helps create a heart healthy eating style for life. So uh, it recommends a lot of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, fat free or low fat dairy, lean meats and beans. And it also recommends limiting foods that are high in saturated fats like fatty meats, full fat dairy products and coconut oil. Uh, the amount of sugar containing foods like soda and sweets should also be limited and also the sodium should not exceed 2300 milligrams per day and in fact people see even better results going as low as 1500 milligrams. So it's basically just eating a healthy diet and watching how much sodium you take in every day. Um, like I said if you're interested in learning more about the DASH and its specifics and um, different meal plans you may try to follow, go ahead and check out that website. I will put a link in the description below. And you can also check out Amazon for some pretty cheap and uh, good DASH diet books. I will also link to that. Um, so just like many other conditions, hypertension is uh, totally reversible and preventable um, through lifestyle modification. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, high blood pressure can be lowered by losing weight, following a DASH protocol, and limiting sodium intake, increasing physical activity, and decreasing alcohol intake. So start moving, start eating right. Uh, just like I say pretty much in every other video, um, just start doing this stuff. And if you don't know where to start, please send me a message. I would love to help you out. I have many options available, whether you're 
just beginning or you have some prior experience exercising and dieting, you know, I can help anybody out. Whatever your goal is, I will meet you where you're at and try my best. So all it takes is determination and a smart plan and we can definitely get you on the right track. So uh, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video and hopefully it has been of some help. If you like the video, make sure you share it and subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care.